Senator Black. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I've heard from rural Canadians that they're frustrated with the lack of attention paid to their regions. Residents in rural areas have had to tackle various infrastructure challenges to guarantee a secure environment for living, recreation, and working within their communities. Rural community has a critical shortage of affordable housing options, yet it hasn't received the same attention as urban centres. Without affordable housing, many communities cannot prevent homelessness or prevent people th help people through the housing continuum. In addition to providing community members with a safe and adequate place to live, affordable housing also strengthens social inclusion and promotes a sense of community, and so investing in rural infrastructure is an investment in the future. My question to the government representative in the Senate is, what initiatives or programs is the government currently implementing to promote the development of affordable housing in rural communities? And can you outline the government's long-term strategy for sustainable, inclusive rural housing development? Senator Gold. Well, thank you, Senator, for your question. The government is very aware that rural communities have unique and, in some cases, very dire housing needs. I've been informed that through the National Housing Co-Investment Fund, Rental construction, sorry, through the Rental Construction Financing Initiative within the National Housing Co-Investment Fund and the Rapid Housing Initiative, the government has already invested uh, over $523 million in affordable housing in rural communities. In addition, additionally, colleagues, over $16 billion investment in housing uh, is being made through the Fall Economic Statement, and it will build upon these major investments in rural and remote housing. Senator Black. You. How does the government plan to adapt its approach to accommodate evolving demographic and economic trends in rural areas? Senator Gold. <clears throat> well, thank you for your question. I can assure colleagues that the government is very aware and mindful of the, uh, the demographic issues and the changing economic trends in rural areas and will continue to work uh, to uh, address, uh, to do its part to address the unique housing challenges faced in rural and, uh, and remote uh, communities.